So yesterday I started digging my trench on the uh, side of the garage here. I want to waterproof the wall or the foundation. Uh, knew we were going to get some rain last night, so here's what I started yesterday. Pretty much got it all done except for like these last couple feet. I do have a gas line that I've got to be uh, aware of, so we're going to be careful of that. But that's what I started yesterday. All right, so we're just mixing up a gallon of our <clears throat> our flexible sealant here for the wall. Alright, so I just rolled the first coat on there. It definitely will not stick to anything wet because we had a little rain last night. It's a little damp in this corner here. It did not stick, so I was going to plan to let it dry out for a day, but most of it seemed to be pretty good. This part here I just dug out today and it was still a little damp and it, uh, it adhered to it no problem. So I'm guessing this corner must be a little more saturated, so I'll wait till that dries out. I'm just going to go and trim the edge uh, with what I've got left in my pan here. And then uh, I don't want to really do the bottom until I do like one really heavy second coat just because I know I'm going to get dirt and shit like that in my, in my paint. So we'll uh, give her a little trim and see how it goes. All right, so we've applied the second coat of the rubber sealant on the wall. Picked up my hose for some irrigation. I am gonna put it into this blue pail with a lid on it. It's gonna be a, just above ground. I'm gonna put a lid on it, probably some wood from my deck or something like that. And then we can hook a sub pump up to it. And then I'm still gonna do a cinder block wall, maybe about two feet away, bring it up a little bit and then raise up the ground so everything kind of wants to tunnel one way or the other. Hopefully it works out. All right, so I got my barrel put in place here. I'm gonna probably figure out how to do a lid on it first before I figure out where the hose is gonna drop in. It's dropped down a few inches below the rest of the grade, so it'll flow into the barrel and a little bit below the spot where I definitely wanna always have it under control. So we'll uh, get some materials and figure out some kind of trap door that we're gonna put here that'll be a bit of a showpiece. Wrap it with some bricks or something like that, make it look half decent. <laughs> 